the system that we see today is part of the tire water program that we put together to teach folks how to take what would be a waste product in the form of a large uh, loader tire and repurpose it as a livestock watering system. And the beauty of this is, number one, you're reducing waste. Number two, you can incorporate it into a rotational grazing system and improve the efficiency of your grazing and watering system on your farm. Well, you're definitely looking at a day's work to do this. You're going to need something to do some light excavation to prepare your surface prior to installing your heavy use area and concrete pad. You're looking at a minimum of a tractor with a bucket. A bobcat with a bucket on the front really works well for site preparation and moving gravel. Uh, and then you're looking at needing at least one other person to help with some of the plumbing and uh, basically getting uh, an eye on making sure that everything's level when you're setting the tire. And I want to talk to you about some of the specifics of what you're seeing out in the field for our installation. We start at the bottom, the ground level. This is our non-woven geotextile fabric. It's a geosynthetic that helps to stabilize soil and separate your rock layer and your heavy traffic pad from the soil itself. So we'll put this right on top of our compacted sub-base of soil and pin it into the ground and we'll be looking to add on top a minimum of six inches of compacted dense grade aggregate which will serve as the base layer for our concrete that'll go in and around our tire waterer. So as far as the specifics on the concrete pad, we're aiming for a minimum of six inches with either 3500 or 4500 PSI concrete. We also want to make sure that we have enough room on the concrete pad to accommodate an animal. The concrete pad itself really helps to reduce the wear and tear around the tire. And then on the inside, it helps to seal the water into the tire. One of the biggest issues that you may run into with concrete around the water is slick surfaces. So you're going to want to score the concrete, preferably in a checkered pattern so that you're increasing traction for the animals that are using the surface. So if you look inside of this tire water half, you'll see that we've got a drain valve here. We've actually just taken a coupler with female threads and put it down over the pipe that's coming through the concrete. And then we've got a standpipe that will serve as an overflow and a drain plug if we remove it from the threaded attachment. And this is our flow valve coming in. And it's just been threaded on in a very similar manner. You can choose from all sorts of different flow valves. This is just a standard model that's on the market. Uh, you may prefer metal valves and standpipes for your drain as opposed to plastic. They can be more durable. One of the best ways to protect the valve and the overflow from your livestock is to put some exclusion fencing over the top of the tank. It'll keep your livestock out of the tire and it will make sure that they're able to still stick their heads under and drink. So we've actually mounted that to a series of three posts that are set up against the tire and hopefully that will keep your livestock out of the tire water tank, keep your water clean, and protect your hardware. Compared to commercially available products, it's got a lot larger surface area uh, for the livestock to drink from. You do still have some issues with freeze and thaw, but you're looking at a product that's fairly inexpensive to obtain, takes a little bit of DIY effort, but you can spend the price difference in things like concrete pads, gravel and rock to protect your soil surface, all the different protections in the way of fencing. So what we've seen so far is that cattle do respond well to these tire waterers. They've taken to them and used them regularly with no issues. As far as the longevity of these systems, we've had some minor issues with plumbing that you might experience with any watering system. 
that's uh, having heavy livestock traffic. But for the most part, we expect the longevity to be as good, if not better, than your average install of a commercially available watering system. With the uh, addition of extra concrete and exclusion fencing and the heavy traffic pad, we feel like this is going to be an excellent option for producers. So visit the publication section of the College of Agriculture's website and download the Tire Water publication for DIY instructions on how to install a tire water tank on your operation or contact your local extension agent for help.